Are you starting a business or looking to expand your business with new product offerings? In order to get your design onto a tri-blend t-shirt, we'll show you what you need and how to do it with Epson Direct-to-Garment print technology. In order to print onto a tri-blend t-shirt, here's what you need. Pre-treatment liquid, a heat tunnel, an automated pre-treat machine, a heat press, some parchment paper, a DTG printer, and a blank tri-blend t-shirt. So the first thing we want to do is take our tri-blend shirt over to our heat press. Sleeve it on the platen. And we'll press it for about 15 to 20 seconds to remove moisture and wrinkles. Once the pressing's complete, Remove your garment and take it over to your automated pre-treat machine. We'll load it onto the platen and be sure to tuck in the sleeves and any excess fabric underneath. Once you've done that, slide the drawer in and press the button to spray the shirt. Once the spraying is done, simply open your drawer, remove the garment, and now take it back over to your heat press. We'll sleeve it on the platen once again. And now we'll slide it under the heat and let it hover there for about three or four minutes. For high volume production shops, if you have a heat tunnel, you can also use that to speed up this process and get more garments done in a shorter amount of time. Once that process is done, We're gonna put parchment paper on top of our shirt and begin pressing it. We're pressing at 335 degrees Fahrenheit for about 45 seconds to one minute. Once the press is complete, simply remove your parchment paper and your shirt is now ready to print. Now let's open our design in Garment Creator. Mac and PC users will have the same visual experience, so the print settings will be the same. Simply choose the color shirt that you're printing on, choose your print quality, and click print to send the design over to the printer. So now we're ready to load our tri-blend shirt onto the platen of the printer. We'll sleeve it on the platen. We'll now apply our platen hoop. And we can click the print button to begin the print. Once the print is done, remove the platen hoop. Now we're ready to remove our shirt and take it over to the heat press. We'll sleeve it on the heat press. And then we'll place a piece of parchment paper on top of that. And we'll begin pressing the shirt. For a tri-blend shirt, we are at 335 degrees Fahrenheit for about 75 seconds. For high volume production users, you can also complete this step using a conveyor heat tunnel. When the press is done, simply remove the parchment paper and your shirt is done.